Hey guys, my name is George and welcome back to another Java tutorial here on my channel. Today we're going to learn how to use the scanner object in Java to receive input into a Java program through the console, okay? So for that, we first need to import the scanner object, the scanner class. So go ahead and at the beginning of your program, import java.util.scanner, okay? So this will be the object that uh, we're going to be using today and to create a scanner all you gotta do is that you need to declare a scanner over here I'm going to call this scanner scanner and I'm going to say that scanner is going to be equals to a new scanner so this object this scanner right here is the one that we're going to be using uh, to import data or to receive input from the console, okay? So when you create a new scanner, uh, be sure to put the system.in parameter over here so we can receive uh, input from the system or basically, uh, well, anything uh, to the program. And once we have that, uh, we can create variables such as uh, integers, uh, strings, uh, or basically anything uh, to basically use a scanner to receive data and convert uh, this data to these object types okay so the most basic uh, data type that we could use is basically an, an integer so I'm going to create uh, a variable called x I'm going to say that x is equals to and then well, what I wanted to do to scan something or receive the input from the outside you gotta call the scanner and use the next methods. Okay, the next methods uh, basically uh, look for any input data that the user might have type in uh, the console and try to transform that data to a specific data type. In this case, it could be integers, it could be strings, it could be doubles, it could be bytes, short, all this kind of uh, data. Okay, so you need to use the next methods and since we're using an int over here since we want to scan a integer data type we're going to use next int uh, if we use next uh, which uh, returns a string we might have a, an error in our program so go ahead and type in this and we can print out the results so we can see what we typed in so uh, first of all let's uh, print a message uh, let's say give me a number and let's run this code and see what happens okay so go ahead and run this program and over here we should see the message uh, give me a number uh, we're going to type uh, 100 for example and we will see 100 as a response because we're printing uh, the value of x over here okay so this is basically how we scan uh, data now you need to be sure that you actually uh, give the program the necessary input uh, for the program to work because if we are asked uh, to uh, input a number and, and we write for example a string we say hello for example and uh, we will have an error in our program so that that is really important for you to know you may only give the the input uh, that is uh, required otherwise we may have uh, some mistakes over there okay so this will be for the integer data type uh, we could also use strings so if you want to use a string you can go ahead and create a string variable um, and instead of using the next integer method what you want to do is that you want to use the next method okay the next method basically what it does is that it uh, check uh, check for a string as uh, as an input okay so you can input anything and this will be a string and over here I'm going to say the string you typed in was and that's it X okay so I'm going to run this code and see what happens um, if you t okay, okay I'm asking for a number but uh, it's not a number it's a string if we type in hello we will see the message at uh, the string you type in was hello and we will see that this program is actually now working and right now we can actually uh, receive uh, strings as inputs okay so that is basically what you need to do now uh, before I end uh, uh, this video I want uh, to teach you something else that you might be find uh, that you might find useful I'm sorry for that <laughs> okay so the tip I'm going to give you is that you can actually also use the scanner to scan files using pipes okay so this is really interesting I'm going to show you how 
what you want to do is that you want to create a while uh, loop over here and we're going to say while scanner has next and basically this has next code is a, a form of saying do we have some input waiting to get past uh, to the program so we can uh, take that input data and put them inside our program and we still haven't uh, processed that data so w that is basically what this method does uh, it checks for data and if we have a file that have a lot of uh, strings we can access to all of them inside this loop until the file has no more data so we, we can print over here scanner dot next so we can scan the next uh, string and uh, put it out so we can see what what's inside that and I'm going to run this code and if I run this code just like that I will basically have nothing right now I have nothing but you can put for example hello and then you can type in space what's up my name is George and we'll see all the data out okay so right now I just write uh, I just wrote a string but I can compile this code so I can basically use a file as an input so I'm going to do that over here at the left side at the left down side of my screen we can see uh, the terminal over here so I'm going to compile this program main the Java and I'm going to run the code but first I want to create some files so I'm going to put over here hello world what's up I'm going to put this inside an input file so you can see it over there if we cut this input dot, dot text we can see it, its content and if we run the program right now I'm going to run source main and I'm going to use a pipeline which is uh, basically this symbol over here this is the less than sign that functions as a pipeline to capture data as an input for this uh, program the input is going to be the file input text and if we run this code we'll see the result hello world what's up so with this uh, pipe we're actually um, we're actually getting some input from a file with the scanner class so I hope you guys like this video I hope this was really helpful for you that you can use it uh, uh, you know to write some code some interesting programs uh, with uh, files just by using the scanner and some pipes so this is a way of how to do that and if you liked it don't forget to click like on this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and well any comments will be appreciated for me to get better at this stuff making tutorials. So see you guys later. Have fun. Bye bye.